Well, it's a beautiful morning today, and I've stopped to get some uh, cleaning fluid for my toilet tanks. Make everything smell nice and all that, you know. And anyway, I've came across this place where I'm going to buy it, and they've also got caravans. So uh, I thought I'd show you a bit. Now, as you all know, I think my thing's far too big for just me by myself. Uh, so maybe a, a wee transit size thing like this would do me fine. And it's got one of those beds, there it is up there. But it uh, changes, it, it can go down a bit if you want, or up there if you need more storage. And then it's got your toilet in there. I'll just take you in and show you. There's the toilet there and shower, which is a bit cramped in a, a sink that's no good for anything other than washing your hands. Uh, nice big mirror, but uh, ample. Loads of storage space, which is great in the back there. Um, there's a small fridge just there. I think that's the fridge. Yes, it is. And uh, yeah, I'd feel a wee bit cramped, especially after my thing. I'd get rid of the bed and have something else, uh, a fold away thing. But that's that one. There's loads of them in here, as well as caravans. So we'll have a look at another couple. Here's another one. A car, a compact, compact. And it's got the swivel captain's chairs at the front as well. Table that doubles up the looks of it. And it's got the bed at the back and also the toilet on the other side at the back. Sink is in the bedroom and it looks as if it might be a reasonable size and then loads of storage and I'll assume because I don't want to be getting into all these things I've got my boots on uh, I would imagine that's the fridge round there and it's got his sink and cooker so pretty much the same as the other one but different <laughs> <laughs> this is another Fiat and it's uh, got a pop-up top and it's yeah the size of a medium based uh, transit and it's got the captain's chairs again i think it's both of them although only one swiveled round at the minute it's got a step oh there's a bed up on the top that's what it is i'll just go in i'm not going up to have a look but you can there's a bedroom up there and then, as I say, you've got your captain's chairs, your table, and a couple more seats there. You've got your bathroom and shower there. Although I'm not sure how that bathroom works. It must slide out or the wall slides back or something. And then you've got your small fridge on the left here. And a double bed at the back with storage underneath. Now this one, for some reason, looks a lot more spacious than other ones the same size. Something like this would do me fine. Except for the price. Now this is quite a, a big beastie. But once you come inside, it's got storage there underneath the bed. But as you come inside, I'd say this is more claustrophobic than that last van I showed you, the size of a transit. Lovely uh, captain's area there, or driver's area. Nice couch, and that table swivels round, and there's another chair over that side. So you swivel the table round, and you've got a nice uh, L-shaped, and I'm assuming those are captain's chairs. And you've got your shower and toilet in there. You can have a look, I can't. There you go. And then you've got your bed up top. Loads of storage up top. Uh, what's in that cupboard there? Let's be nosy. Excuse the fingers. That's just a storage cupboard. And I noticed they've got access into the 
under bed still is just there and the fridge is over here underneath the table uh, underneath the the cooker now i was looking through some of these caravans as well uh, i'll show you the one i'm sort of interested in in a minute but uh most that have been in are similar to this, a double bed there, toilet over there, kitchen, and a seating area like this or similar. Sometimes they're shoved up a wee bit more or it's a bigger van and they've got a couple of bunk beds in them as well, but they're not for me. Now, why would I be interested in something like this? Well, the fact is, my thing does use a wee bit too much fuel, especially just for one person. So this one is quite good. It's got your kitchen there. It's got a sink and a, a, a cooker underneath. I'm not sure if it's got a fridge. That's storage space. That'll be storage space as well. Over that side, it's a hanging locker. So you've none of the frills. Window there, you've got your seating area there. And then you've got your bed. Uh, so, I mean, and storage up the top as well. There's storage uh, in behind here. It wouldn't be much, but there's a wee bit. And a wee cabinet at either side. Uh, so you've got your bed, your seating area. I, I would need at least a toilet uh, in one of these. And the beauty of my one is I've got loads of storage for waste and uh, water and, well, other things. But this would be so good for towing behind a, a Jeep. I'm going to show you around one more a pilot and uh, it's quite a big one probably about the same size maybe longer than mine uh, and here we have it the forward seats fold down and I'll assume that they turn round as well there's a nice L-shaped lounge and a seat over this side as well so this would be a nice wee living space now, up above the, the driver's seat is a bed that just pulls down and you've got a bed there, which I've always loved that feature. But they don't make these things for sort of one person, because I'll bet you anything, there's your kitchen there with a the cooking at the back and the sink at the front there. And you've got a full-size fridge freezer here, fridge freezer here. Uh, not quite as big as mine, but close. You've got a bracket here for your TV, which would work out fine. And you've got your controls for your batteries. And in the back, wow, you have a stateroom. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Uh, you've got storage at either side. Oh, uh, yeah, I could, I'd, I'd go to bed more often if, uh, if I had a place like that to go. Oh, toilet is a bit tight. There's no shower in here, but if we look directly opposite, and the door doesn't close as nicely as mine either, directly opposite, there's a shower as well. But again, it's tight. For me, this would be tight. So I'm impressed with the, well, the kitchen would do me fine. The sitting area would do me fine. The driving would be magnificent. And the bedroom would be great. I'm not too impressed with the toilet and shower. Uh, I'd got better. But if they want to swap it for my one, I'll do it. They've got a screen up front there and they've got another one over there 
maybe for reversing or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'd love this, but we're probably talking, oh, I don't know, 100 grand. And I thought the storage in the bedroom would take up most of the storage area, but it doesn't. If you look in here, there's a massive space underneath the bed. And actually, I'm starting to question myself now whether the that is storage or the in the bedroom, or the, it's all in here. Yeah, as I was saying, they don't actually make campers for single people. They tend to put too many beds in, too many seats, and and so on and so forth. Uh, <laughs> I should maybe design one for singles. <laughs> uh, I just like a, a nice, comfortable chair, loads of living space, kitchen and living room together. Living room turns into a bedroom or one of those uh, pull down things over the driver's area. And uh, a good sized toilet and shower. I'm going to show you one more though that sort of fits the bill. Again, it's a Pilot, a P696D Essential. So let's have a look inside. And as you can see, it looks wide open, which is one of the good points. It's got swivel seats or captain seats at the front. It's a Fiat, you might uh, notice that. Uh, the seating at the front is raised up slightly as you can see there's a step up which i don't like but i'd get past that i think i love the open space of this place uh you've got your couch there which i'm sure as hell will turn into a bed and you've got a couch at this side which may well turn into some form of bed as well you've got shelving up above here and lo and behold it's got what I was talking about it's got a bed up the top there and that will come down on top of your table basically or whatever height you want it in the evenings and I'm sure especially in this weather you could have your bedding up on the bed full time. Loads of storage in the kitchen, cooker, sink, storage below, and over the side again, it's a full size fridge and freezer, and a TV bracket up there. Your controls, we've been here before with the looks of it. And in the back, similar to mine, it's uh, a nice big toilet at the back. You've got your toilet, your sink, and I'm just gonna wave this out. Of, ah, there we go. Toilet and sink. And you've got a load of storage space in there in access from the outside as well. Loads of storage space, walk-in wardrobe style there that's for hanging clothes over the back and there's a couple of drawers over this side and then as we go around you've got your shower cubicle there it would do size wise but it's not as big as mine <laughs> but yeah this is more what i was talking about and believe me you i talked about that single vehicle before i actually seen this one uh, or at least knew that it had the bed above. Uh, this would be ideal for me. I'll show you the size of it once we go outside. I'd say it's a, a sprinter size, high roof. And uh, yeah, loads of, loads of space. Actually, I, if I was in something like this, I might get rid of uh, one of the, the couches and put in a storage unit because storage you always need storage but and uh, 
I love the fact that the toilet's uh, nice and big. Actually, I'd go as far as to say the shower is smaller, but the rest of it is probably bigger than mine. And there's your enclosure for it. Yeah, I like this vehicle. And if I could afford it, I'd have it. It's got a skylight there. It's got one in the toilet, I think. And one in the shower. And I don't see a fan. But I'm sure there's one probably attached to these things. Or it will be an extra. Well impressed. Let's have a look outside. That's a view in the outside, on the passenger side. There's the storage area from the outside and it's got a door on both sides, uh, which would be really handy. And it's a different style on the other side, so we'll have a look at that. Yeah, the door at this side is uh, all the way up, or very nearly, to the top. So, uh, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, let's have a look on the other side just to see if we can work it out. No, unless you, ah, there is, there's a, a cut there. You'll probably be able to see it. So you can probably take that out. I don't know. Oh, of course, that's the, that's the shelving area is above this. So you can probably take that shelving area out and take something in there, I'm not sure what, but, uh, or maybe you can take the whole thing out and that you can put a bike in it, I'm not sure, but uh, there you have it. Here's a picture through the window of it, and I'm really impressed. I'm quite uh, low down here, it's not the vehicle being big. Uh, I'm on an embankment, but uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that one. For a single guy or uh, a couple, ideal. Yeah, it's time these people realise we're all not uh, families of five and need old bunk beds and uh, uh, just an open space with a couple of chairs that you can sleep in preferably. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't went in there. Uh, I'll go back to my own one now and start finding faults all over the place. Uh, I was getting remove one of the couches out of my uh, van and put in a, a comfy chair, a swivel chair. But once you do that, you end up having to change other things. Uh, anyway, back at my van and I'm happy enough with it. The good news is, I only bought what I went in for, and that is this stuff for, where's the front? This stuff for uh, make my toilet smell nice and clean. Anyway, that's enough for today. Bye the new.